B O D Y S H A M I N G body shaming. This is not the first time this is being said. Do not allow anyone body shame you. Who? That person that cannot create a microscopic organism. I mean, an organism where we say, you know, if you use the naked high CM until you use the microscope. Talk more of an ant, a rat, a cat perhaps, a dog, a goat. To not talk of a whole human being, like God's creature that he made head of all other creatures. The person could come to you and say, oh my God, you're so slim. What you want to on buy? You're fat. You, 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 you have this, but you don't have this. You have this, but not this. Assuming you have more ears. You're short. You, what is that person insinuating? That person is insinuating. If you do not know, let me tell you. That person is telling you that God could have done better. That he could have done better than that. So the person will not get regard for his or her homemaker. We now be making you feel bad about the structure that the, the, the greatest being gave to you. Okay, now that you're feeling bad, what do you do about it? So people go ahead to get surgery done. Oh, you're slim. They get the, this done, this done, and make the hips a little wider and all that. Get the perfect figure. The figure they call perfect, the eighth figure. And then, okay, you're fat. You can, what do you do? You go ahead to pump out the fat in you. Or you start starving yourself. You don't they get us, you body don't complain, say you don't tire. Say this is your figure, accept it. You hit the gym every morning. You are the first, brother, you are the first to get to the gym every morning. I'm not even saying that you should not exercise. We all need to exercise. It is called keeping fit. But when you are doing too much, when it is too extreme, that your body is about to ache, is that not telling you you need to stop and just accept your figure? And do not even tell me, do not even tell me you're doing it for yourself. Because if you're telling me that you're not scared of what people will say, that you just want to do this for yourself, you don't need to do anything for yourself. I'm not saying you should not watch what you eat and all that. We all need to do that for our health. But you wanting to have that figure that they all think is perfect because you think your figure right now is imperfect. You're not doing anything for yourself. You're doing it for them. That is the truth. And after that, what are they still going to say? Oh, see her. She went to get a plastic surgery done. She don't hide to everything. And I who no no say she, she did plastic surgery. Everybody knows that that's not how she used to look. Shoton, the people you're trying to please. What did they still say? They, when they ask you, say, are you sure you're not suffering side effects? Are you sure you're not anorexic? Are you sure say all these things where you do so? You know, it will affect you for old age. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that you, you can't do all, the, all of that because maybe you're scared that you are recreating what God has already perfectly created. So you can't do that. You can't do all of those things. What about your self-confidence? In a Nigerian series, Class and Class, the character Adisa said, I wear my petite size with pride. How do you wear yours? That your petite portable size. That your plum, bold, and beautiful size. That your tall, fine, slim glass of wine size. How do you wear it? How high is your self-confidence? Your self-esteem, uncle. When you they walk without your friend, when you think, say, as the perfect figure that all the guys are calling, or that your guy friend, you say all the girls, the four for one, all the girls want data. How do you feel about yourself? Do you do you begin to, 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 to shiver, quiver inside of you when you're alone? Do you whimper? Why? God created you that way. That means he wants it to be that way. Now, are you going to keep doing that? Or you will stand up and say no to body shaming. I mean, any form of body shaming from anybody. Even if it is a little brat. I mean, that little child that does not even know much yet, but already knows, say, if person slim or person plump that they call fat, the person is not beautiful and the person is to be insulted. You know, whatever they learn now, whatever they believe in now is what they will grow up with. Or that insensitive friend of yours that takes every little opportunity to comment about how you look, bad comments about how you look. Are you going to take it all in? Are you going to take it standing, sitting, or whatever position you are when that is being said to you? Or are you going to give it back to that person? And let that person know that that is so wrong. And you, that body shames other people. Maybe you do not know what you're doing, perhaps you do not know that what you're doing is actually destroying people's self-confidence, lowering their self-esteem, making them feel bad about themselves. If you do not know, now you know better. Stop. And if you do know, but you still enjoy it, I mean, why not? Why won't you body shame people? Mm, continue. But make it no bring them close to you or anyone that has been motivated by this video or someone that even knew better before this. Because if you do, you go collect. Thank you. It's your girl, Simply Lara Lara with a double head.
please do not forget to click on subscribe when you're done watching this video thank you till next time